Hi, I'm Bill Tierney with Coastal Countryside Properties, and I'm sitting here this afternoon with Larry Cothrell, the manager at Hingham Institution for Savings here in Cohasset. Um, and I just want to, you know, introduce you. Oh, thank you. Um, and you know, tell us just a little bit about the bank. Sure. So Hingham Savings is one of the oldest banks in the state. Um, 1834, it was established in downtown Hingham on North Street. And uh, we are currently, our headquarters are on Main Street, right in the Hingham Square. So we're one of the oldest banks in the state. Um, we've been in Cohasset since 1995. This was the old Cohasset Savings yeah. Bank location, and they were sold. And um, we took this branch, and we just finished a big remodel uh, last October. So we've still got that antique feel to the building. Um, so we are a family-owned bank. Um, we have nine branches uh, around the South Shore, including two in Boston and one in Nantucket. And um, we are um, we are family run, and we are uh, a community bank. That's what we want to be for everybody in the towns we're in. Yeah, no, I, I mean I've, I've noticed you have a big role in the chamber. Yeah, um, but you know, and you guys have a, a big presence here uh, in the village, and you're, you're the last local bank. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is pretty much out of town now. Yeah, and um, we're very proud of that. And um, you know, we were one of the only banks that, when we went public with our stock, that money was used to invest back into the business, um, not to prep it for a sale. And that's what helped us get uh, acquire Nantucket and Boston. Uh, we've just opened an office in Washington, D.C. Oh, wow. So we'll be doing, we, we are doing commercial lending out of the D.C. area. And um, we've got plans for other cities over the next few years to, to grow the, the name. Um, the big thing we are able to do is customize loan products on the commercial and residential level. We're a portfolio lender. So one thing that surprises me about banks is that they will build a relationship with a customer and the, the, the big carrot is the mortgage. That is the ultimate relationship in banking. Um, when you have a mortgage with somebody, there is a trust factor because it's their property and then other things come off of that. Home equity lines, um, checking accounts, money markets, CDs, but the mortgage is, is an ultimate relationship. And some of these banks, after 60 days, they put the mortgage up for sale and sell it. And then your relationship is with somebody you don't even know. So we're what's called a portfolio lender. Meaning you hold the loans. We have never sold a loan. We keep all of our loans in-house and service them to the end. And that helps build the relationship. And this is how we've done it, literally, for almost 200 years. Yeah, no, um, I mean, you're, you personally, I know, uh, are a relationship guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So um, tell me, you know, you guys are right here in the heart of the village, which is the heart of Cohasset. What do you like about being in the village? Oh, it's, it's, I, I grew up in retail in Hingham Square. We had a, a retail business in Hingham for, since the 1950s. So I spent 30 years building those relationships, competing with mass box stores, and uh, we finally called it quits in 2014 when basically our industry washed up. But um, so that was always important to me to be in the downtown, involved in the community, the schools, different things. And um, so I've just continued that existence here in Cohasset. So it's all I know. Um, so it's it's been great. It feels like I'm home. Yeah. Well, I mean, and uh, you know. It is home. You know, Hingham and Cohasset, I, I remember when we first moved to town, we had a, we worked with an agent who is an old Cohasset name, and she always said, she said, you know, you'll love Hingham, and you'll have great friends in Hingham, but you'll be glad you live in Cohasset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, yep. It's definitely, and I, I, we, had a, we had one of our stores in Cohasset, so um, we opened that store in 1968, and um, so I spent a lot of time in my childhood between the towns. It's really funny, I didn't even think of the town line as being a town line. It was just, no, you know, I mean, East Street to uh, Main Street. Different colors for the high school, there's not much difference. Yeah, exactly. Um, any funny stories about being local and, you know, um, you know, when you're a lender you tend to know a lot about people, but, you know, do you ever have, you know, somebody come in with a 
funny instance or? Oh yeah, I mean, nothing I want to talk about. <laughs> um, no, we we one thing we try to do is really make things work on on lending. I mean, it's it's uh, one thing with the whole federal system is there's there's guidelines that you have to stick to, and we try to bend things to make them all fit and work and. Um, and that's one of the big things with being a portfolio lender. But um, no, it's just talking to people. Uh, one of my jobs I have to do is is, is new business outreach, and um, in trying to one thing I it, it works for me is to get to know what somebody's business is, how the business operates, what their needs are, and um, and sometimes I come out of the meeting saying. You've got a pretty good setup where you are. They give you this, they give you that. Um, you really probably shouldn't come over here and bank and and honest with them. And sometimes people come to me with their mortgage statement and want a refi, and they've actually got a really good deal. So we, we, we're not always pushy on that. Once again, it's the relationship. And if I come off to somebody aggressively trying to get them to come bank with us, no matter what, I'm not really thinking of their best intentions. But um, it's, it's around the world. When you do it, yeah. Right, um, if you it keep, comes back to if you. you keep the wheel spinning, then good things come back to you. Um, and if you're helpful and you get involved with the community, you're going to get a phone call from someone out of the blue looking for something. Yeah, um, absolutely. So I try not to sit behind a desk all day. I try. This COVID thing is driving me nuts because. I'd normally be at all these functions around town and involved and, you know, we're, we're in limbo, we're stuck right now, but there's, yeah. there's light at the end of the tunnel that's coming, so. Let's hope so. Yeah. Hey, anyway, um, you are great to give me a couple of minutes of your oh, time. Oh, sure, anytime. I really appreciate it, and, um, you know, I'll post this up on social media and we'll all hear about it. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate